Do you think that if Houston wins out, they've done enough to secure, to possibly be able to compete for number one overall? I think they've done enough to secure a number one seed, period, regardless of what happens from here until next Sunday. I'm going to agree with alum Jim Nance. He mentioned during the broadcast. Mm-hmm. I think winning today secured the Cougs as a one seed, period. One of the four number one seeds. I think there will be enough folks on the committee that will count. Kansas has whatever it is, 14, 15, oh, whatever 15. it is, you know, quad one wins compared to Cougs four or five. And they'll say 14 to five. So they'll, they will give Kansas, I say give, Kansas earned it, mm-hmm. the number one overall seed based on that. But the Cougs will be a number one seed. I think they locked it up today unless they shock all of us. I'm not even sure it'll matter anymore if they lose Friday in their first game in the tournament. But beyond that, they're one seed going to the big dance. Yeah, I think they're on the one seed line. I think if either Kansas or Alabama lose in their conference tournament, which is highly likely, then Houston has a chance if they win out to move into the number one overall seed. I think it'll take for one of those other teams to win their conference tournament to be the number one overall seed. So I think, in my opinion, Houston can – they're solidified in – on the one line, it just depends on where at. And I think they have a chance to be the number one overall seed if Baylor, I'm not Baylor, it's, uh, Alabama and um, Kansas don't win the conference tournaments. As of yeah. now, would you still put those two teams ahead of Houston, looking at it from the committee perspective? I would put Alabama because they beat Houston head up. But from Kansas, uh, I, I get the resume in the Big 12, but – I, I I don't think so, but but the 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 national I think the national could, but I think Houston is solidified in my opinion in that spot. But if Kansas wins the conference tournament along with all the quad teams, then I think they will and potentially could jump Houston. I I, I think what could help the Cougs is if Kansas lost their first game in the Big Twelve, because how many losses does Kansas have? Six, five, six. What is it? I mean, I don't even know. I believe it's five. Let me check. Let me double check. Five, real quick. five conference losses. So if they lost in the they quarter, have six total losses, yeah. Okay, six. six so they losses. lost five in Big Twelve. Is that right? Four, and, five. And that loss to Longhorns wasn't particularly close either. Right. So I think if they lost to whoever they play in the open round for them, that could open the door for the Cougs to pass them. Assuming, of course, the Cougs do their job in the American tournament. Baylor's, I'm excuse me, Alabama's head-to-head win over Houston gives them the edge. I mean, head-to-head, you know, Bama won. But if Bama stubs their toe in the opening round for them, the, the door opens. But it's easier to say Bama over Houston because of the head-to-head. And I, I think Kansas has to win that conference tournament to get the number one overall seed because, say, for example, if Texas beats them, then I don't think Texas jumps Houston, even though they have a similar resume through Kansas and have a legitimate argument. But I think it'll take for Kansas to win that conference tournament to win the overall number one seed. I think Houston is kind of solidified, in my opinion, probably in their second overall, and they can move up if Bama or Kansas, one of them, don't win their tournaments. I think you are, you're talking about overall seeding. Yep. Yeah, the Cougs are one seed, period. Today wrapped it up in, in our opinion for sure. And I think Jim Nance, he mentioned it during the broadcast that the Cougs, in his opinion, but based on the rules of the committee, will be in Birmingham because yeah. it's the closest city to Houston. As a one seed, the rules are you go to your, per, your closest destination, not Denver, as I saw earlier this morning, on ESPN, you know, Lenardi had them as one of the top three ones, but the bracket had them going to Denver. And I'm like, that's not close, closer than Birmingham. So I don't know if Lenardi says one thing and the other folks do the bracket. I don't know, whatever. But the Cougs and Bama can both be in Birmingham, but just go to different regions after the first two rounds. 